What's good, Bucket Team? It's your boy, Samaj the Don, man. Y'all already know how I'm coming at y'all, man. We about to be reacting to the worst referee calls in football history. Now, personally, I, well, I don't have, I don't, I'm not a football player, but I can speak for basketball. I hate referees, bro. I literally hate all referees, bro. They are terrible. They make terrible calls. So, Football, you don't have that, like, the referees don't play that big of a part on the game. But basketball, they have too much, too much power. But let's just go ahead and jump right into it, man. Oh, okay, okay. I remember this. Got him out at the 35. Beasley cannot find the stick. He's a yard and a half short at the 32. All right, four downs now. I really don't know what to say about this call, honestly. This call could go either way, to be honest. It could be good or bad. Like, at the Green Bay 32 with under five minutes in the game. Let me get a close look. I mean, he lunged out, so he had possession. I'm not sure. Because when he lunged out, like, the ball, like, he, the way he had the ball, the ball hit the ground. The ball hit the ground. So, I mean, it could go either way. The ball did hit the ground, though. Let me, let me get closer to this. That's not really the angle. Cowboys fans, let me know what y'all think. Packers fans. Let me know what y'all think. Oh, this was one of the most controversial when they had them fake refs. Y'all already know this is terrible. This is terrible. Seahawks says you can and give someone a chance. Rice is 6'4. Moore is 6'6. They're up to the right. Takes the lone receiver to the left. The Packers play it at the goal line. As Wilson scrambles to keep it alive. The game's final play is a Wilson lob to the end zone, which is. Look, bruh. Look, bruh. Look, bruh. The, the Packers, man. Bro, the Packers man clearly has full possession of the ball. No Seahawk has full possession. And they gave it to him. They called it a touchdown, bro. That's an interception. That's the worst that's the worst call in history, bro. Got to be the worst call in history. That's crazy, bro. For them to lose that way. How? How? How, bro? Were they blind? They had to be blind, bro. 
Look. Look. Jennings got the full possession. Golden Tate just has one arm on the ball, one hand on the ball. I don't understand, bro. I don't. That's crazy, bro. Celebration mode here. They go high. Jennings has the ball. He's bringing it in. When he gets to that's really ground, ridiculous. He's got it against his body, and Tate then pulls it away. He's got two hands on the other one. Looked like it was a Jennings ball, but this official here, Jerry, goes up and signals touchdown, and see the other one going with that signal you would get for an interception, correct? Or a touchback, yes. This is the most bizarre. Sequence you'll ever That's see the crazy, end of the game. bruh. And so here comes the referee now. Look at it under the hood. This is and they actually the reviewed this score. and still gave it to him. The call on the field stands. Touchdown. Bruh. <laughs> he had to be a Seahawks fan, bruh. You can't tell me he won't a Seahawks fan, bruh. That's a catch. That's a catch. The only thing I remember is seeing the eyes of the official on that side. He looked like he'd seen a ghost. The official did not make any signal. Touchdown. Here it is. He's here. He's here. He's here. Damn it. He did not signal touchdown. Damn it. Out of bounds. That's a catch, bro. It was a tough call. This might be a spot. Going, going. That's a catch. With instant replay, it would have been different. You're watching it in your living room back home during that minute or two delay while they decided what the call was. They kept running and running it, and it became pretty clear, if not real clear, that it was a catch. Only one problem for the Oilers, however. The officials do not have the luxury that we enjoy of seeing that instant replay. Oh man. Dang, boy. See that that's why a replay is good, bro. Maybe that's the way they can justify the call is they didn't really see it. Replay is good. Oh yeah, bro. This is definitely a fumble. This is definitely a fumble. Dang, he getting crushed. The AFC championship game was just They just killing that man. It should have ended. Yeah, I'm coming off the left side. I see Brady. This is definitely a back. fumble. He pumped. Getting ready brought it back ball. in. There's my Got hit. Here he is, bearing down on Brady. Look. He calls the fumble. Beaker dives on the ball. He did not Brady throw the ball. Charles Woodson came on a corner blitz, and he rocked his former Michigan teammate. Game over. Or so we thought. The play is going to be reviewed, though. Right? Oh, it should have been game he over. He does for bring it forward, but that's not to pass the ball. He pumped it. He pulled. He was pulling the ball back. So the more time went on, the more everybody on the sidelines like, I think we're about to get screwed. The quarterback's arm is going forward. It is an eight. Oh, 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 oh. They definitely got screwed. Oh, real man, for real. That's the worst call in the history of. All sports. Nah, I don't know about that. Out of the Oakland Raiders. After that happened, we we never recovered. The worst call was that Green was Bay versus Seahawks, bro. For, the Raiders season, for real. <laughs> That's terrible. Dark, freezing night in Foxborough. All right, man. So there you have it. The worst referee calls in football history, bro. Let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Leave a subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm out till next time, man. Peace.